This is Carlos Escapa. I'm the Senior Vice President of Disaster Recovery Products at Unitrends and today we're going to talk about Reliable DR working with storage replication. In the whiteboard we have a production site here on the left, we have a DR site on the right side and we have here a collection of VMs uh, that are running in production virtualized on vSphere. And here we have SAN to SAN replication going across the sites. This could be synchronous or asynchronous, it wouldn't matter. The SANs have the different uh, LANs and volumes that are being replicated to the DR site. Reliable DR runs as a VM in the DR site. It does not require anything to be running in production and out of the DR site what Reliable DR is going to do is going to verify that the replication is running correctly and that we can create points in time that uh, will allow us to bring all of these applications back in production in the DR site. Reliable DR orchestrates recovery processes so it connects to the virtual infrastructure on both sides as well as connects to the storage. In Reliable DR, the disaster recovery administrators are able to set up recovery policies and based on these policies what Reliable DR will do is at periodic intervals connect to the SAN, create the snapshots of the VMs that are being protected and then present those VMs to vSphere to create a fenced environment inside of which these VMs will be powered on, just like in production, and respecting the dependencies that exist among the different components of those applications. When the VMs are powered on, Reliable DR will actually connect directly to them individually and will verify that the recovery policies that have been set by the disaster recovery administrator are being met. When the entire application is up and running and it is running correctly according to policies, then Reliable DR will calculate the recovery time actual and the recovery point actual and will check that against the policy. Is it less than or equal to the respective objectives? If there are, then the point in time that was created here is policy compliant. If they are not, then the disaster recovery administrator will be notified. After the exercise, the environment will be torn down, the sand will be set back to the previous point in time, which will be retained again according to the policies, and then reports will be generated and the respective stock stakeholders will be notified. View a demo. Unitrends.com slash demo.